I decided to run for District 2 Supervisor. I just signed up this morning. I want to keep that chair a Republican. And this Constitution, I want to keep it in that chair. I want to keep those people from Bullhead, those socialist pigs, out of that chair. And you know who I'm talking about. Steve D'Amico, Bullhead City. Thank you, Chairman Borden. And I'm sure he's listening going to chew my butt tonight at the city council. Hope I don't end up in jail. I've been threatened a couple times over there by, uh, you know, thrown out. So you may want to watch something tonight. Which brings me to Jeannie Kinch. The toxic environment coming from District 2 headquarters forced me to temporarily, temporarily close the office until I was certain the bad behavior was eliminated. The messaging came out of that office, scared volunteers away, unfairly criticized our esteemed elected officials, including some of you. Apparently you have the key, Hildy, to that GOP place. Who's got it now? And our censor to them the Mojave County Republican Central Committee uh, Executive Committee censored them due to their uh, bad behavior and how they are provo uh, providing a, a division in our party and harming our party. Um, we also have a, a restraining order that was approved by Judge Huerta um, for them not to come to the uh, headquarters because of the division of our party. So we still haven't solved anything over there. So I'm looking for what those offenses of official duties are. The what, division what exactly of our party. did they so do? That to multiple be emails, multiple um, uh, uh, social media posts. Uh. Um, as far as anything getting done, that, that new director can't get much done because they, they can't get in the office to do it. But I don't see it in statute as something that we have the authority to do. If you'd abandon your position, if you lost your right to vote, if you moved out of your precinct, if you changed parties, those are all things we can act on, but bad behavior we can't act on. You know, and as far as First Amendment rights, I didn't give up my First Amendment rights when I became a PC 28 years ago. Um, I still have those rights. I have the rights to um, badmouth other elected officials if I so choose to do that, because that's the American way. Um, um, I guess we're going to have to go to court to open that building up. And you know what? I saw things being taken out of there. Gary went in there with Jim Fuller. I'm heartbroken that there's so much, so much mudslinging going on in our community right now. And he walked out with paperwork and a blue, uh, black book. Uh, anyway, he's walking out of there with stuff. He's putting stuff in the window there. I like this little city. Um, I've never done this before. I lived in Oregon for years. I wish I would have went up and spoke and used my First Amendment right so people would know me <coughs> and know who I am. <clears throat> but I got a little story on how I met Steve, uh, and it was quite easy. Who in the hell is, gave him permission to do that? This is reeking, Jeannie Kinch, since you're the fault of this. So that might not be the definition of bad behavior, but to, to us, that is definitely a, de a, a definition of offensive, um, involved offenses involving the violation of the person's official duties. Uh, you know, this is beginning to reek like the fairgrounds. Remember when I used to get up here and ask for an audit? I'm asking for an audit down there. I'm not saying any money is missing, but it reeks, it smells, it stinks down there. They're taking stuff out of there. Now I have bought signs there, Trump hats and everything like that years ago. I want an audit down there. Grand jury, whatever. There needs to be something. There's, it's reeking down there. I sit at the library and watch my no flag out in front of that building there. And I remember seeing you two weeks ago. I'd never seen you that mad. You were livid. And I hope you stay livid over this until this gets fixed. And Ron, some of your constituents are also members of that party. So I wish you two could get, I know you're not the GOP police. You're not supposed to be anyway, being partisan like that. But we need this fixed down there. 
We're supposed to be fighting Biden, not Jeannie Kinch. That is what they did. And I'm asking all the other precincts to get together in Lake Havasu, Golden Valley, and everywhere, and recall Jeannie. Oh, Ryan, I need a legal explanation. Can I call Jeannie Kinch a bitch? <laughs>